Joe Biden is betting on Bidenomics to brand his reelection campaign. Biden has overseen the most inflationary economy in a generation, so it's a bit of an odd choice. Biden is taking an insult and trying to own it. He must have been watching Billy Madison. So Bidenomics is Biden's campaign plan. How's that going? Well, it's a complete disaster. Here are the facts. A new Lending Club report shows a historic high. 61% of adults in this country are living paycheck to paycheck. That's up. Meanwhile, inflation has outstripped wage growth for 22 of the last 24 months. Americans are struggling. Even the Washington Post recently acknowledged that, quote, more Americans are falling behind on their car loan and credit card payments than any other time in more than a decade. And rising interest rates means that your starter home is now your forever home. This Labor Day, we thought we'd talk to the governor that you've seen recruiting about every job in America, my friend, South Dakota Governor Christy Nome. Christy, you are a relentless advocate for hard work, productivity jobs. What strategies are you using in South Dakota to deliver despite these headwinds of Bidenomics? You know, Matt, we've just been telling our story. South Dakota is an incredible place. Uh, we have kept our businesses open. We have empowered people and used personal responsibility. We've cut cat taxes cut regulations and recognize universal licensing. So all of those things are incredibly important, but what you really have to do is get the word out. You need to recruit people, let them know how much better their lives can be somewhere else. And that's what I think is so remarkable about what's going on in South Dakota. Uh, incomes are going up here faster than anywhere else. Our population is setting historic record growth. Um, we see people doing better than anywhere else in the country. Women-owned businesses are doing better, and people are happier. We're one of the few states where overdose, overdoses are going down, and our mental health and suicide uh, rates are also dropping as well. So, you know, empowering people to make the best decisions for themselves and their families really does help them financially, yep. economically, and uh, also mentally as well. Undeniably, uh, you guys are really deregulating, you're growing, you're recruiting, but at the same time, this Biden economy is like a wet blanket over the effective efforts of a lot of our states. Uh, we see this national data indicating that 61% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. How do you see that impacting people and, and what do you do to push through some of the challenges that frankly Washington is visiting on your state and many others? Yeah, it's pretty dramatic. When you look at our state, you know, we're in the middle of the country. It's kind of a long ways to drive anywhere in South Dakota. People go to school, it may be 30 miles away, work may be 50 miles away. Our number one industry is agriculture, number two is tourism. So all of those are heavily impacted by energy policy. We also grow the world's food. So it's important that we do well here so that we can continue to put food on people's tables in this country and in other countries as well. So, you know, it is a horrible thing that Biden is doing to our economy, how he is devastating families. And when you look at that poll, uh, Matt, you'll see clearly that the American people are going to hold him accountable for it. Uh, they recognize that their lives are worse now than since he's been in the White House and they're looking for a change. So President Trump is set to speak in South Dakota on Friday. It'll mark the first time since the former president uh, went uh, to the state. Uh, he was there for the Mount Rushmore fireworks back in 2020. Uh, what are you expecting from the president's visit? Well, he's coming to help out our state Republican Party, which I'm grateful for. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think he's going to have an inspiring speech. I'm thankful that he's coming to our state. People are excited to see him. This event sold out in just hours. Uh, when we made it available. We will have eight to 9,000 people in attendance. It'll be maxed out. And people will be there excited to see this president that thought about them every single day. That's the one thing we're gonna talk about that night is that this president shows up. Uh, we've invited many other people to come to our state and talk to us and they keep saying how insignificant South Dakota is. It's not important to be in South Dakota right now. We there wanna be in Iowa, New Hampshire. And what I love about President Trump is that he said, I will be there. Uh, he doesn't ever overlook the oh. little people. He doesn't say states like South Dakota aren't important. He knows every single person in this country is important, and that's why people support him. So it does bear a contrast to the current occupant of the White House. Uh, president Biden put out a ridiculous video on Twitter trying to prove that he is the president that keeps promises, unlike Trump. Take a listen. We don't negotiate the price of the drugs. When it comes time to negotiate the cost of drugs, we're going to negotiate like crazy, folks. Today, I'm proud to announce that Medicare has selected the first 10 additional drugs 
for negotiation under the Inflation Reduction Act, 10 additional. Drugs that treat everything from heart failure, blood clots, diabetes, kidney disease, arthritis, blood cancers, Crohn's disease, and so much more. Oh, my goodness, so, Matt, Governor have, Nome, you've had the chance to work this. with both of these men. What's uh, your assessment of the Biden record versus the Trump record? Well, that almost makes my head explode because we have a prescription drug shortage in this country, and it's created and made so much worse by President Biden. His policies are empowering other countries. He's making us more and more reliant on China for our drugs that keep people healthy in this country and life-sustaining drugs. And it's because of how he has completely cowered and bowed down to China and those countries that hate us and giving them more authority, not over just our energy supply, over our monetary policy, over our trade agreements. Now he's also giving them our health care. And when he stands up on TV and says to the American people that he's giving us more options, he's giving us more affordable drugs, he's lying to the people in this country. What he is doing is making us much more dependent on China for those drugs to keep their families healthy. And if we want to start seeing Another scary time in the United States of America. Look at how they're using COVID again to control people and then say that we have a drug shortage that won't help people get over it. Uh, Governor, I know in these interviews, everyone always asks you the vice president question, and I know you're laser focused on South Dakota, but I remember a conversation you and I had in the cloakroom when you were in Congress, and I asked you why you were running for governor, and you sincerely believed that if you didn't run, people might get that position who were corrupt. That was the word you used, and so you took it on as a mission. When you observe the corruption that's going on right now in Washington, D.C., uh, does it motivate you to try to do everything you can to try to get rid of it and put our country back on the right track? It does. It does. I think everybody needs to be all in at this point in time. I think it's devastating, the corruption we have in Washington, D.C. I run into it here in South Dakota, uh, and it's on steroids at that level. And then you watch it happening within our three-letter agencies as well. Uh, people are starting to wonder if there's any justice in the United States of America anymore. So. So yes, we need to live a life of significance. May we never say that we passed up an opportunity to help protect this country for our kids and our grandkids. We had incredible opportunities. Well, um, I I'm think, hoping my I think kids you may be getting a, a lot of those great opportunities. I know the people of South Dakota are grateful for the work you do there. Governor Christy Nome, an outstanding example of strong conservative leadership. Thanks for joining me. Yeah.